Ladies and gentlemen, Bose is back with a vengeance. You may be asking right now, are these my new ultimate earbuds that do everything well? Well, stick around because I am going to answer that question for you today. What's up, everybody? This is David M., the Polish potato. I wanted to be skeptical, hold back, not give in to the hype, thinking, oh, Bose, a lot of advertising, you know, they've been around forever. They always do good stuff. So I wanted to be critical and just, you know, be very flat about approaching this. But I give up. I started listening to these. And I have to tell you guys, the sound is pristine. It's so beautiful. For me, it's always uh, between the fun sound profile, which is like a punchy sound signature with a lot of bass, a lot of highs, uh, addressed sort of to the average user and the audiophile profile uh, sound profile, which is sort of more focused on accuracy, detail ret retrieval and leans towards the flatter response without any preference for any side of the uh, frequency spectrum without boosting anything. And yet both somehow achieved both here. So I think audiophiles will be very happy with these earbuds. Um, but also bass heads will be happy because make no mistake, this goes all the way to crazy town with the bass. And also um, the average user that is looking for just like this fun listening experience every day when there's juice and, um, uh, you know, uh, definition to his music. So, so both are here. I am not saying this is the absolute best earbud of the year in terms of sound quality, because I just gave that title to the KZ Extras, but at least they are on the same level. They might be the best. I have to do more detailed listening, um, but they're awesome. They're absolutely unbelievable. If you're all about sound and you're wondering whether these are worth your money, don't even wait another second. Ergonomics are another area where they absolutely nailed it. And it starts with the shape of the nozzle, because it is oval. It's not a round nozzle. Bose, again, used their experience and their research and figured out a long time ago that the shape of our ear canals is not exactly round, so the oval actually fits it better. But they also kept their famous silicone ring that goes around the earbuds, and this is their genius design, and I am so glad they're sticking with it. Soundcore copied that at some point, and they should have stayed with that. Remember the iconic Liberty 3 Pro? They had this silicone part right here, and they ditched it for the new headphone. But this review today is not about Soundcore. We'll talk about this some other time. This is about Bose. Uh, so they are sticking to their guns. They are sticking, sticking with their experience. And they kept that silicone ring that helps so much. Not only it helps keeping the earbuds in your ears and lets them stay there better, but it also creates better seal. It adds another layer to sealing the earbuds in your ear, which contributes to definitely better ANC and definitely better bass response. To me, this is ergonomics done well. These earbuds are the absolute kings of ergonomics. Nothing beats them on the market right now. The looks are nice, understated elegance, nothing flashy here, just black with a tasteful Bose logo engraved here. And you don't really need anything else. This works for me. I don't have a problem. Build quality is fantastic. Uh, people commented on my video of the AZ80, the silver uh, version of the Technics earbuds, saying that the, the, my videos, my uh, macro photos, reveal terrible build quality and i don't personally think those were built terribly it's just that when you look really closely you know the plastic molding it always has those little errors uh and it doesn't really matter it doesn't contribute to the quality of the earbud in any way that's my opinion about it but yes if you do look really closely uh you'll see those inaccuracies uh bose doesn't have that everything here is so perfect Whatever their manufacturing process is, uh, you, will, you won't find any of those imperfections here. So that's another thing when you want to talk about build quality. You're spending $180 for these earbuds. You are getting the build quality 
uh, for that money, so you don't have to worry about that at all. Controls are the fourth area that is going to get all the highest marks from me because they are as good as it gets. Not only can you control everything uh, with the earbuds in your ears, but you can customize those controls to your liking, including volume control, including, believe it or not, selfie taking. Yes, you can program the earbuds however you want. It can be one tap, two taps, three taps, or long hold to take a selfie with your smartphone. Isn't that convenient? The only problem with this operation is that in the photo that you're taking, your finger ends up always right by your earbud or your hand by your face, however you want to describe it, because there's not enough time to put your hand down. As you can see in this video, I was really trying and I never really made it. So the photo is taken as soon as the third tap is registered. I wish there was a setting that lets you delay that by even a second so you have time to move your hand down. I see possible other applications of this, maybe when the phone is further away from you, but within the Bluetooth range. Uh, so this becomes real remote controller, but you're still going to end up looking like this in the photo. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know if people who are in the market for true wireless earbuds are looking for controls to take selfies with their phone. But you have to admit it's a cool feature, it's great thinking, and why not? <laughs> are these the first earbuds who that that are incorporating this feature into... I'm looking up here because my phone is up there. Uh, that are incorporating this feature into the controls? I have not heard of any other ones. Maybe there is something out, out there. And if there is something like that, one of you is going to know. So please say that in the comments. But uh, I am blown away. Like this is just, just a great... Great thinking behind this and great execution. I love the full customizable controls and I love added features that other earbuds just do not have. Let's talk about the ANC and the transparency before we go into the app. And we are not lowering standards when it comes to these categories either. The noise cancellation is fantastic. These are one of the very few earbuds and I'm not afraid to say maybe the best ones so far that actually cancel the noise of my barking dogs to the point where they really don't bother me. And I said this before about a few other earbuds, but in this case, it's really stronger noise cancellation than anything else. Bose claimed to be the kings of noise cancellation, and in, with these earbuds, they really are. It's absolutely crazy that uh, my super loud barking dogs with music on at about 50% volume I almost can't hear them. Uh, this hasn't happened before. I've had earbuds before that would lower the noise of their barking, but never to the point where I would almost not hear them anymore. So this is absolutely amazing noise cancellation. I won't even mention other noises like conversation in the room, television, your loud loud neighbors, or um, machines, leaf blowers that are super annoying. It's canceling all of that, letting you live in your own world with your own music or whatever else it is that you're listening to. And you can completely disconnect yourselves when it comes to noise pollution. Fantastic. Transparency is also the best. And the only test you need is listen for how close to the real world everything sounds when you have the earbuds in versus when you take them out. And there is literally no difference. The world sounds the same. Absolutely super amazing. Bose has a new app that you can use for these earbuds that is fully featured. It connected very quickly. I had no problems. I am now using iPhone 16 Pro. I don't know if any any of those the, the super quick connection depends on the new software, new firmware, new hardware, but it works flawlessly. You can control your noise cancellation settings in the app. Uh, you can control equalizer, of course, with a few presets and your custom... Uh, settings. I went with these for my custom settings and I am very satisfied with the sound I am getting from these earbuds. Not that I wasn't with the default settings, but these sweeten it up a little bit for me. You have, uh, as I mentioned before already, full customization for the touch controls. Look at the list of changes that you can do and um, whatever your preferences are, you'll be able to set them here including the remote selfie feature. You also have voice control. So instead of 
tapping your earbuds, you can just say, hey, headphones, pause, or hey, headphones, play, or hey, headphones, volume down, hey, headphones, volume plus three. So it's not just increasing the volume in that case, but it's increasing it by three levels. Multipoint connectivity, sure, why not? These are using Bluetooth 5.3, so you're all set here. And if you ask if there's a gaming mode, there isn't anything named gaming mode, but there's low latency audio settings that you can set for a single session, meaning it will go back to normal after you put the earbuds back in the case, or you can tap always on if you always use these for gaming. Another interesting feature is battery prediction. So you hit that and it shows you about 12 hours remaining for just playing music with the current settings that you've been using this far. So if you don't go crazy on the volume and ANC, look at how long it's predicting that you can use these for. This is pretty good. You can talk for 7 hours and 45 minutes on the phone. I am not looking to talk to anybody on the phone nowhere near this long. Not even for 7 minutes. But uh, if you are phone talker, then go ahead. You're all set here. There's also additional settings in the corner that lets you disconnect the headphones if you need to do that for whatever reason. Rename them. Uh, you can uh, set up, enable or disable the voice control. You can set up a different language. No Polish. Hmm. Now I know you're definitely at the point where you're going to say David, how about the microphone quality for phone calls? Can we test already, please? Absolutely. Let's go. Let's put them through David M's real-life test for microphones quality in earbuds and see how they perform against the competition. Welcome, guys, to David M's real-life ultimate microphones quality in earbuds test. We are starting in the same way as always, sitting in a car idling on the side of the road, which means there's very little noise pollution around me right now. And that also means it should be easy for these earbuds, their microphones, and the algorithm sitting inside them to resolve my voice in this environment and deliver good audio. All we have is occasional car driving by. But now I'm going to change this auditory environment by a lot. I'm going to start driving and get to 50 miles an hour, therefore introducing road noise, air noise, coming from the system here in the car, uh, engine noise, and also cracking the windows half the way as we always do. And that also introduces a lot of wind noise coming in, which makes it way more difficult for the algorithm and the earbuds to figure out what to do with my voice, how to process it, to keep only my voice, what's important, and reject everything else that we don't want to hear which is all this noise pollution around me. I don't need to talk a lot. We already have the voice sample, so I'm going to pull over and switch to the second player for today. The second player for today is the PI6 from Bowers & Wilkins. And the reason I'm using this is because we never want to make it easy for the main earbuds that I'm reviewing. So always want to come up with some competition that is supposed to be better. These cost almost twice what Bose does. So should the quality also be twice as good you be the judge we're getting to 50 miles an hour right now so we're reproducing the same exact conditions i think this is enough of a voice sample you guys have good comparison now pulling over and switching to the third player for today so here we are with the third competitor for today in my ears right now is the sennheiser momentum 4. of course these are relatively very expensive earbuds should we expect expensive results from these? Bose, you know, at this point in the review, you know that Bose did everything so well. They shine in all the areas that we talked about so far. So the big question is how they compare to this expensive competition. Is the technology the same? Is it better or perhaps is it worse? And based on these three tests, would it convince you to invest your hard-earned money and purchase yourself a pair of the new Bose Quiet Comfort earbuds, but I have a surprise competitor for you, number four in today's test. Let's switch right now. You can call me crazy, guys, but I'm going to put $22 earbuds to the test against all these expensive ones that I just used. 
And this is not out of spite. This is not to, you know, show that uh, you shouldn't be paying for those high-end earbuds uh, because they absolutely have wonderful uh, sound quality when it comes to music. This is just a scientific method to simply show you the difference. I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm simply trying to give you a solid sample of sound of uh, what exactly comes out of these 180 250 300 dollar earbuds against an earbud that costs 22 dollars and doesn't even have anc so you can simply be informed and make a decision for yourself when it comes to spending your hard-earned money and deciding what is the next earbud that you want to get i think we have enough of a voice sample i'm going to pull over and just add one more sound snippet to today's review just for fun so nothing is connected right now i have no earbuds in my ears and this is just the audio from the iphone this is now iphone 16 pro which uh, has pretty amazing sound processing very decent microphones for a smartphone and i just want to use it to show you guys what the actual levels of noise we're dealing with here what these earbuds have to process and weed out when they are uh, recording our voice and they don't have an easy task because the microphones are positioned here and our mouth is here and we're talking this way this is the direction of the sound coming out so somehow they have to use these microphones that are on the other side of our head to record this sound process it and also figure out what to reject like all this noise coming uh, through the windows right now driving at 50 miles per hour and I'm doing this portion right now just to give you a better idea of what the actual sonic environment that these earbuds and the algorithm and the microphones have to deal with. We're back in the studio. You guys heard this test for yourselves. Let me know in the comments what you think. Those were two microphones per earbud that you heard that are responsible for capturing our voice during phone calls. And since we are talking about technology, there's a 9.3 millimeter driver sitting in each earbud delivering this fantastic audio. I don't know why Bose is so secretive and weird about not revealing what codecs are being used. You have to dig deep. This information is not just available anywhere on the web. Uh, but when you pair them with an Android device under Bluetooth settings, you can see AAC is being used. So AAC is apparently the codec that's responsible for transferring all this wonderful data that turns into the sweet sounds that are pouring into our ears. Uh, they are IPX4 rated for those of you who uh, are wondering whether you can use them for sports or not. The battery is rated to last up to 8.5 hours of playtime, uh, which is interesting against these uh, settings in the app that are predicting way more than that. I haven't tested this myself, but uh, let's stay with the 8.5 hours instead of 12 that the app is predicting because I would rather go with the lower value and be careful about this. It's still really good, 8.5 hours. That's a, that's a really strong uh, value, very, very good playtime uh, compared to the competition. We also have a quick charge 20 minute that delivers another two hours of play time so if you need more than 8.5 to get through your day just connect them for 20 minutes put them in the case back for 20 minutes and you'll have another two hours that is really good another piece of information that is not so easy to find is the total amount of charge that this case holds but i did dig it up it's uh up to 2.5 additional charges so if you have 8.5 hours that's uh 17 plus 4.25 so that's 21.25 additional hours that is of the charging power that the case is holding those are really good numbers and since we are talking about the case this is going to be the last point of the review i like it it's a little bulky uh compared to competition it has this matte finish uh so i like the way it looks again understated elegance the important thing is it's really easy to get the earbuds out and really easy to put them back in. Good magnets holding them. Uh, overall, um, the case is okay. It's not the strongest point of these earbuds. It feels a little bit plasticky and not as solid 
as the earbuds themselves. The earbuds have very solid feel to me. They are nicely finished. The case is just like a like, little cheap feeling, but that's okay. These earbuds do so many other things well that I'm completely forgiving this, but I'm curious to hear your opinion. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope it gave you enough information to make an educated decision if you've been eyeing the Bose new Quiet Comfort earbuds and needed that push over the edge to spend your hard-earned money and get a pair of these for yourselves. Thank you guys for your time. I'll see you soon again.